What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And in today's video, we're gonna go over 10 rules you need to follow when wearing that suit. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Tan Beer Rockman, salute. Now I know what you might be thinking. It's just a jacket and a pair of pants. Can it really be that many rules? Well, look at it this way. The more simple something is, the easier for one small detail to throw the whole look off. So in the effort to make sure you're picture perfect in that suit, I've got 10 simple rules for you to follow, starting now. Now on this channel, I'm consistently preaching to you the importance of fit. It's the major key in being a stylish guy. Which brings us to the first rule in making sure you're wearing that suit correctly, make sure it fits right in the shoulders. Now when you're buying a suit off the rack, it's not going to fit perfectly no matter how nice it is. You're going to have to get it tailored. But the most expensive and the most difficult area to tailor is the shoulders. So if it doesn't fit in the shoulders, put it back. Now the next rule to follow when wearing that suit, make sure the width of your tie matches the width of your lapel. For those that are uninformed, the lapels are this part of your jacket that lays across your chest. So if you're wearing a thinner lapel, such as I am, wear a thinner tie. Wearing wider lapel, wear a tie of a wider width. Don't mix and match the width. If you do, it throws off the proportions and the symmetry of your suit. Now we're staying with fit for our next rule on how to wear that suit correctly. Talking about the length of the shirt you wear underneath. This is a two for one. Two things I want you to pay attention to. One, you know it's just right in length when it falls right around the bone at the base on the pinky side of your hand. So it should fall right around here. And secondly, with your arms down, you should be able to see about a half an inch of your cuff to give a nice contrast between your shirt and your jacket. Now we're staying with the shirt for our next rule to follow to wear that suit correctly, and that's to make sure you button the top button on the shirt. Now if the shirt is too tight and you gotta open up the button so you can breathe and loosen that tie, get another shirt. It doesn't look right and you're not fooling anyone. On the other hand, if you can stick more than one finger in between your neck and the collar, the shirt is too big. Make sure it lies gently across your neck without choking you out and keep that top button buttoned. Now for our next rule to follow when wearing that suit, let's talk about which buttons the button on that suit jacket. Now overall in general, there's a very easy rule to remember. Never button the bottom button but let's get more specific for the number of buttons on your particular jacket. If you're wearing a one button jacket, very simple, button that one button. For a two button jacket, like the one I'm wearing, button the top button only, never the second button. And for a three button jacket, there's an easy mantra to remember, sometimes, always, and never. Meaning, depending if you want to, you sometimes button the top button, you always button the middle button, and you never button the bottom button. We're staying with the buttons for our next rule to follow when wearing that suit, and that's to keep the jacket button when you're standing up or moving about. You see, one of the benefits of wearing a suit is that when it's closed, it broadens your shoulders and narrows your waist, giving you a nice V-shaped silhouette. When you have the jacket unbuttoned, you lose that benefit, and it just doesn't look as well put together. On the other hand, when you're sitting down, unbutton the jacket. You see, a well-tailored jacket should fit you close and snug, when you're sitting down, your stomach is going to push out and it's going to make you look like pigs in a blanket. So loosen up the jacket when you're sitting down. Speaking of sitting down, brings us to the next rule to follow when wearing this suit. And that's, when seated, make sure your socks are long enough that you can't see any of your legs. If you can, get some longer socks. Now for our next rule to follow when wearing this suit, has to do in particular with a three-piece suit, specifically your vest. Now with the vest, you want to leave the bottom button unbuttoned. Now there's no form or function for this, it's just a tradition that's been passed down. And it's a little secret of stylish guys like me and you. Now we're staying in the waist area for our next rule to follow when wearing a suit, and that's to make sure you're wearing the appropriate belt when wearing a belt with the suit. Now the right belt to wear with a suit is a leather thin belt. A thick belt like this is made for jeans and more casual wear, and on top of that, Make sure the color of your belt matches closely to your shoe. Now, not perfectly, but close. So if wearing brown shoes, wear a brown belt. Wearing black dress shoes, wear a black leather belt. 
Speaking of wearing the appropriate accessories brings us to the next rule to follow when wearing a suit. And that's to not wear a sports watch with the suit. Instead, you wanna wear a simple, thin leather watch, such as the one I have on here today. Notice I have on brown shoes, so I'm wearing a brown leather watch. Now I hear what you're saying. James Bond wears a sports watch with a suit. Let me ask you a question. Are you jumping out of burning buildings? Are you flipping over to Aston Martins? Are you sleeping with Russian spies? If so, you have my permission to wear a sports watch with your suit. Now for our last rule to follow when wearing a suit, we're staying in accessory land. And that's to wear as few accessories as possible. I suggest only a watch, maybe a tie clip and a pocket square. But less is more. When you're wearing a suit, you're already making a powerful statement. So let the suit do the talk. Okay, so there you have it. 10 rules to follow when wearing that suit. Let me know in the comment section if you found this information useful. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. And make sure you tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll see you tomorrow.